Revenge movies are stories where someone seeks payback for something bad that happened to them or someone they care about. They are exciting to watch because they make us feel involved, like we are on a mission with the main character. Some of these movies focus more on action, like when a tough hero takes down bad guys one by one. One example is Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but the best revenge movies go deeper. They make us think about why the characters are seeking revenge and what it does to them. Maybe they feel hurt, betrayed, or really angry. Seeking revenge can change a person, sometimes in ways they never expected. They might end up doing things they never thought they were capable of, and it can be hard to tell if it's all worth it in the end. Before we dive into the details, subscribe to this Cine Wizard and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on the latest news and reviews. Now let's take a look at some of the top revenge movies ever made and why they stand out. Whack Uncle Adolf makes us a horse of different color. We have all our rotten eggs in one basket. Coming in at number 10 on our list is The Northman, a movie from 2022 that didn't get as much attention as it deserved. Directed by Robert Eggers, who is known for his creative and original work in Hollywood, this film is based on an old Danish story called The Legend of Amleth, which also inspired Shakespeare's Hamlet. The cast includes Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Anya Taylor-Joy, and William Dafoe, who all play important roles in the movie. The story follows a young boy who becomes a man in a Viking tribe but faces a terrible betrayal when his father is betrayed by someone he trusted. His mother is taken away and he sets out on a journey to become a warrior. His goal is simple, to return home and seek revenge on those who harmed his family. However, as he seeks vengeance, he discovers that there is more to the story than he initially thought. At number 9, we got The Revenant. Number 9 on our list is The Revenant, a movie from 2015. Directed by Alejandro G. Inaritu, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. This story follows Hugh Glass, a fur trapper, on an expedition in 1823. After a brutal beer attack leaves him near death, his fellow trapper John suggests mercy killing Glass. Instead, he leaves Glass and his son Hawk behind, but then kills Hawk and leaves Glass for dead fearing an attack. Despite his severe injuries, Glass manages to survive and begins a grueling journey back to civilization. He is determined to find John and seek revenge for his son's death. The film is intense, showing Glass's struggle to survive in the wilderness and his relentless pursuit of justice. At number 8 we have Lady Vengeance, a movie from 2005. It's part of a trilogy about vengeance similar to Old Boy. The story is about a woman who is falsely accused of a crime and spends many years in prison. When she is finally released, she plans to get revenge on everyone who wronged her. The movie also explores themes of justice and redemption. The movie is not directly connected to the other films in the trilogy like sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, but they share similar themes and styles. While Old Boy might be more famous, Lady Vengeance is still a powerful and memorable film that leaves a lasting impact on viewers. <laughs> At number 7, we have Gladiator, a movie from 2000. The story follows Maximus, a Roman general who is betrayed by the emperor's son and loses his family. Sold into slavery, Maximus becomes a gladiator, first to fight for his life in the Roman Colosseum. When he gets the chance to face his family's killer in the arena, he is determined to seek revenge. Gladiator received many awards and nominations, including 12 Academy Award nominations and 5 wins, including Best Picture and the Best Actor for Russell Crowe. However, some people think Jaquin Phoenix deserved recognition for his portrayal of the villain, Commodus. Ranked at number 6, we have I Saw the Devil, a 2010 film from South Korea. The movie tells the story of a man overwhelmed by grief and seeking revenge. Instead of becoming just another gruesome horror flick, it focuses on the cat and mouse game between a serial killer and the cunning pursuer. The film doesn't shy away from graphic violence, but it's more than just gore or shock value. 
It delves into the psychological aspect of revenge and the toll it takes on both the Avenger and the one being hunted. I Saw the Devil is widely regarded as one of South Korea's finest contributions to the thriller genre, showcasing the country's talent for creating intense and gripping cinema experiences. Number 5 on our list is The Crow, a movie from 1994. The story takes place on the night before Halloween, when a group of thugs murders Eric Draven and his fiancé. But Eric's soul is brought back to life by a mysterious crow, giving him the chance to seek revenge on those who wronged him. Eric's mission for revenge is intense and time-limited, adding to the suspense of the story. Sadly, the making of the film was marred by tragedy when actor Brendan Lee, who played Eric, was accidentally shot and killed by a prop gun. This tragic incident led to significant changes in safety protocols for firearms on movie sets, highlighting the importance of safety in the film industry. At number 4 we have John Wick, a movie from 2014. The story follows John Wick, a retired assassin who wants to leave his violent past behind after his wife dies. She leaves him a puppy as a final gift, giving him a reason to keep going. But when thugs break into his home, kill the puppy and steal his car, John's grief turns into rage. When nothing left to lose, John embarks on a relentless mission of revenge, leaving a trial of destruction in his wake. The movie features an impressive cast, including Willem Dafoe, Ian McShane and John Leguizamo. Keanu Reeves, who plays John Wick, performed most of his own stunts, showcasing his dedication to the role and adding to the authenticity of the action-packed film. Backing, it's personal. Where'd you get that car? What does it matter? Ranked at number 3 is Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, a two-part movie released in 2003 and 2004. The story follows a woman known as The Bride and played by Emma Thurman, who seeks revenge against her former allies from the deadly Viper assassination squad. They betrayed her and left her for death after killing her fiancé and unborn child. The movies are known for their intense action and bloody scenes as the bride goes on a relentless quest for justice. Along the way, she faces numerous obstacles and adversaries, culminating in a final showdown with Bill, her former boss and lover. Directed by Quentin Trentino, Kill Bill is widely regarded as one of his best films, combining his signature style with a compelling revenge story. Now it's kill or be killed. You have every right to want to get even. Get even? Even, Steve? At number two, we have Old Boy, a movie from 2003. The story begins with a man named Oh Dai Su, who is suddenly imprisoned for reasons he doesn't understand. For 15 years, he confined to a small room with only a bed and a TV, where he learns that his wife has been murdered and he's the prime suspect. Consumed by thoughts of revenge, Daisu waits for a day he can escape and seek justice. After 15 years, Daisu is unexpectedly released, but his freedom comes with a new mystery. Determined to uncover the truth behind his imprisonment, he embarks on a quest to find out who was behind it and why. As the story unfolds, it leads to shocking revelations and unexpected twists, making Old Boy a gripping tale of revenge and redemption. With its brutal action scenes and thought-provoking plot, Old Boy keeps viewers on the edge of their seats until the very end. At the top of our list is Inglorious Bastards, a 2009 film by Quentin Trantino. It's Trantino's unique take on World War II, imagining an alternate ending where justice is served in the most satisfying way possible. The movie is so iconic that it became a part of pop culture, known for its intense action and memorable characters. The story revolves around a group of soldiers known as the Bastards, who are on a mission to kill Nazis, including Adolf Hitler himself. Trentino's clever storytelling leads to a climactic showdown in a movie theater, where the Bastards execute their plan to perfection. It's a tale of revenge and justice, filled with Trentino's trademark style and wit. While the movie didn't win the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay, Christopher Waltz, who played the villainous Hans Lande, did win an Oscar for his performance. His portrayal of the ruthless Nazi officer is chilling and unforgettable, adding to the film's impact. 
Overall, Inglorious Bastards is the ultimate revenge movie, tapping into our desire to see evil punished and justice prevail. Even though it's just a movie, it's incredibly satisfying to watch as the Nazis get what's coming to them. There's something you don't know. Hitler is attending the premiere. Revenge movies are thrilling because they make us feel like we are on a mission with the main character. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's worth it in the end. That's what makes these movies so captivating. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Cine Wizard and press the bell icon to get notifications.